morning everyone, this is Peter Yosef, analyst at Iron Effects, bringing you the morning comment for the 15th of May. Media suggests that dozens of Palestinian protesters were killed yesterday in Gaza after the Israeli army opened fire. The protests were sparked by the official opening of the new US embassy in Jerusalem yesterday. Politically, the importance of the incident is that it has thrown the Middle East into turmoil and that it distanced the US from its traditional Western European allies for the second time in a week. Currently, we see the case for the incident to be a once-off event. However, with the Iran nuclear deal in jeopardy, the new Iraqi government being elected, and the Turkish elections ahead, we could see safe havens and oil strengthening. USDN traded in a sideways manner yesterday and during today's Asian morning, testing the 109.76 resistance line. The pair could continue to trade in a rather bullish market for the next couple of days. The case could be supported as fundamentally the release of Japan's financial data tomorrow could weaken the JPY side. On a technical basis, the pair's price action seems to form an ascending triangle between the upward trend line incepted since the 23rd of March and the 109.90 area, with a possibility to break the pre-mentioned boundaries upwards. Should the bulls be in charge, we could see the pair breaking the 109.76 resistance line and aim for the 110.45 resistance level. Should the bears take over, we could see the pair breaking the pre-mentioned upward trend line and aim for the 109.20 support line. On other news, according to EU Chief Brexit Negotiator Barnier, no significant progress has been made in the Brexit negotiations and that a number of issues remain unresolved. UK PM May spokesman stated that the focus is on getting it right rather than meet the deadline. Officials in Brussels seem to doubt on whether the UK will be able to mark substantial progress until the June EU summit. The fog still remains on the issue, however, any further negative headlines could weaken the pound. Cable moved in a sideways manner yesterday, tested the 1.36 resistance level and bounced back down. We see the case for the pair to continue to trade in a sideways manner today. However, the pair could prove sensitive to the release of financial data coming out today and fundamental news. On the technical side, the boundaries of the pair sideways movement seem to be quite strong as they were tested a number of times and the 4-hour RSI indicates a rather indecisive market. Should the pair come under selling interest, we could see it breaking the 1.35 support line and aim for the 1.3425 support barrier. Should it find fresh buying orders along its path, we could see it breaking the 1.36 resistance line and aim for the 1.3665 resistance hurdle. In today's other economic highlights, in a busy Tuesday, in the European session, we get from Germany the preliminary GDP growth rate for quarter one and the self economic sentiment for May. From the UK, we get the employment data for March and from the Eurozone, the preliminary GDP growth rate for quarter one, as well as the industrial production growth rate are due out. In the American session, we get New Zealand's milk auction data and the US retail sales data, as well as the AP crude oil inventories. As for speakers, Dallas Fed President Kaplan and FOMC member John Williams speak. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Peter Yosef from IronFX wishing you solid trading.